Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, hello. My name is Lauren, and today I'm going to be talking to you about compost. Are you ready? Let's get going. So why is compost important? Let me ask you a few questions. How many of you like to eat food? I do. How many of you like to climb trees? I know my kids do. Do you ever like to play hide and seek behind bushes or smell flowers? Well, guess what? All of those things are plants. In order for plants to be healthy, they need healthy soil. And compost helps soil become healthier. So you're probably wondering, how do you make compost? Well, I have another question for you. How many of you like to cook at home? Maybe you like to help your mom and dad in the kitchen? Think about making compost as you would a recipe at home. In the recipe for compost, there are four main ingredients. Brown stuff, green stuff, air, and water. So first let's talk about the brown things. Those represent carbon sources. That's C-A-R-B-O-N. What kind of brown things do you see outside at your house? Leaves, mulch, which is shredded up wood, some sticks or branches, here's some hay left over from Halloween, here's some shredded paper. Look, there's even a brown paper sack from the grocery store. These are all brown items that you can compost. The second ingredient in compost is green stuff, which represents nitrogen, N-I-T. R-O-G-E-N. What sort of green things do you see around your house? Perhaps it's green leaves, maybe it's green grass or green plants. Another source of nitrogen and compost is food scraps. That means leftover food that we don't eat at home, but we might throw it in the trash. You can compost those things. Okay, so for your compost recipe, you need some brown things, which we're gonna add in here leaves in there, you need some green things, some plants, some grass, I'll do a tomato, eggshells. The two remaining ingredients are water and air, which is all around us, right? And I'm going to signify that by stirring this up because whenever you put these ingredients together, they have to be mixed up. Okay guys, we talked about the four ingredients that make compost, but this story would not be complete without highlighting some very important characters in our soil. You see, there's a thing called the soil food web, and it describes a whole universe beneath our feet. Some of those things that are active and living and moving in the soil, we can only see with a microscope, like fungi and bacteria. But many of those things we can see with our eyes, like bugs that you might see in your backyard. These are the good guys of the garden. They help break down those green things and those brown things. Some of those good guys are the worms. How about roly polies and centipedes? These are nature's decomposers and they greatly help in making compost happen. Okay guys, you mixed up your recipe. The brown stuff, the green stuff, the water and the air, and you probably attracted a lot of good decomposer bugs to help eat all those materials up. Guess what? It's sort of like magic. Over time, all of those ingredients turn into this. This is finished compost that I actually made in my backyard. You'll see it's dark brown. It smells just nice and earthy. It's loose and crumbly in texture. And what do you do with it? You apply it to your plants. You can apply it to your flowers, to your vegetables, to your trees, everything that's living and growing around you. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, thank you so much for listening today. I hope you learned something and had a little fun, and I hope that you will start composting where you live.